What up, you should see what's here. Here's my review for the new indie film, CODA. Now, CODA, uh, which by the way stands for uh, Child of Deaf Adults, stars, um, stars his actress named uh, Amelia Jones, who of course uh, started on that TV show, uh, Lock and Key, which of course has season 2 coming out soon. And here you got Amelia Jones, who plays uh, this teenager named Ruby, who is the so, uh, who is pretty much the only hearing member of a, a deaf family. Uh, you got her um, her parents are portrayed by uh, real life um, deaf actors uh, Molly Matlin and uh, Troy uh, uh, Kosha. And her of course uh, life revolves out, um, revolves around. Um, around um, acting as an interpreter for her uh, parents here and working on the uh, family's uh, struggling, you know, fishing boat every day before, you know, school. Uh, and her father and her older brother portrayed by uh, Daniel Durant. Um, Durant. Uh, by the way, Molly Madeline was so good in this movie. Uh, but of course, um, here you got, you know, Ruby also ends up joining her high school uh, choir um, club as well. And she ends up, um... And she also ends up drawing, uh, you know, um, with her uh, duet partner, uh, named Miles, who's portrayed wonderfully by uh, Frida Wash Pillar, who you might know from that movie uh, Sing Street a couple years ago. And so, of course, uh, her her uh, core, she also has a, a core master here, who's portrayed by a uh, famed Mexican actor, uh, Eugenio Derbez, who is really great. Who is pretty much all, uh, and she, you know, of course, uh, Ruby is also trying to um, apply to this prestige uh, music school, but she also finds herself, uh, you know, torn between the objections of uh, that she also has to, you know, um, my, you know, she might have to like uh, leave her family for her um, and pursue her own dream here. Uh, the music in this, by the way, is terrific. Like they, you know, this. Emilia Jones, this girl could sing perfectly. I don't know, um, her, like, sing talent abilities in this was perfect. I mean, there are literally songs in this that I, like, the song that she, uh, sings, you know, um, in this, uh, talent competition, definitely, um, well, I can't remember the actual name of the song, but definitely a song, um, that song definitely deserves an Oscar nomination for Master Richard's song. It's that good of a song. Uh, but anyway, this, like, mo. Well, Majority of the film does include does include sign language in a way. Uh, it actually reminds me of the uh, recent um of the uh, freeform show Switch at Birth that premiered years ago. Uh, definitely has a bit of that feel to it, and not saying that because well that was in this and she was also in that. So, but uh yeah, the performance is by Marlon Mallon, who I think definitely deserves an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. She was so good in this movie. Uh, the one who plays the, uh, the, um, dad, Troy Kosher, was terrific in this. I mean, it's really cool that they actually got, at, um, actual deaf actors to play deaf characters, which, you know, to be honest, uh, I definitely, you know, when you get, um, to, to be honest, I think you really do need, uh, like, actual deaf actors to play deaf characters. I mean, of course, you know, the Rhythm and one, and Sam L, that one... I guess I, um, that one I'll make an exception for, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this movie definitely has some really, like, decent score to it. And Mila Jones, she's definitely a star to keep your eye out for. I mean, this movie is actually an Apple film, but I was actually able to watch it there, because it's also playing select there, so, if you guys haven't seen it, it's either, you could either, watch, you know, just watch it on Apple, or you just, um, you know, go to theirs if it's around you. But, uh, anyway, now, of course, uh, one person who I thought saw some saw a couple scenes is the one who plays uh, Ruby's um, friend here. I thought she was pretty funny as well. Uh, she's of course portrayed by Amy um, Forsythe. You know she definitely is a pretty decent young actress too. I mean this movie definitely has a really decent music, some great performances by the cast. Uh, this, of course, this film first premiered at Sundance with some really good reviews, and I, the reviews were definitely worth it. So. Yeah, I mean, another win by Apple. Like, they're doing pretty good with their movie content. You know, uh, the Tom Holland movie Cherry was pretty decent. Uh, that Justin Timberlake film Palmer was a good one. And now this. I mean, they're doing some pretty decent films late, uh, lately. And, yeah, I mean, I'm now I'm more excited to see their next um, catalog. Of course, they got that new Mark Scorsese film. They got, like, uh, you know, a new Jack Lawrence film coming out in the future. I mean... Apple is now crushing it here, but uh, anyway, 
Uh, let me lead you guys. Did you have a chance to watch the movie Coda? If so, watch it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more of a hit. This is Simon Science.